picking back up into the text of the letter to the Laodiceans. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodicea, write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, and beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works. Thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I would spew thee out of my mouth, said the Lord. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that is the righteousness of the saints of God, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and thou anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. This is a place of healing, and, and this place Laodicea. Uh, is known for that. And then verse 19, As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I'll come into him and sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I have also overcame, and sat down with my Father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Several comments. How can you be a, a red-hot Christian in an ice-cold world? And how can we live godly in a godless world? In this church of Laodicea, Jesus said, I would you be hot. And no doubt uh, a hot shower is very refreshing, particularly on a cold winter day. And on the other hand, a cold drink of iced tea or ice water on a hot and dry day is very refreshing. Jesus said, it's, you refresh me, but you're lukewarm, and I would spew you, literally vomit you out of my mouth. And again, that mountain or that uh, mineral deposit right over there with the white cap piped in hot water. And then as we shift over to these mountains on the other side, piped in cold water. And the guy told us that these waters would mix and consequently become a tap or a lukewarm water. And Jesus said he would spew us out of his mouth. My prayer today and my challenge to us all today is this, that God help me to be red hot in a world that's lukewarm and complacent and cares not the things of the Lord and, and is interested in life of what can I get out of life, uh, wine, women, and wealth. And this is the message the Lord has for us, to love Him supremely with all of our heart, soul, and mind, to stay in the Word of God and to be clean and close and be a Spirit-filled Christian. And my prayer today is, Lord, fill us with Your Spirit. He said, I will grant to them that I, as, I, as I've overcome to sit on my throne and no doubt that is a reference to the second coming of Jesus in the millennial reign when he will indeed sit on his throne. God has declared it so, decreed it so and it will happen. And right now he's seated at the right hand of the Father. We're told in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and in other passages Romans 8 and 34 He's seated at the right hand of the Father, but one day in the near future he will come and sit on his throne as he promised to fulfill the Davidic covenant with David and the Jewish people. And we indeed, praise God, will get to rule and reign with our Lord. Gives us a lot to look forward to in great anticipation and expectation when Jesus comes again. God help us to keep our eyes on him the author and the finish of our faith, looking up because our redemption draws nigh. I love you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.